Well, good morning, South Africa. This is Dr. Arthur Frost speaking. It is Tuesday, the 12th of March, 2024. And I believe that I have an insight that is going to assist us as believers in this nation. Amen. And so I want to just say this before we get going. It is important that we understand the season that we are in, the prophetic season that we are in. If we understand it, and it helps us to adjust, it helps us to prepare for it, and it helps us to cope with it. So, this morning I want to deal with the issue of our prayer life. Okay? How many of you know that since the 94 elections, we have uh, many, many Christians backed off the prayer life and praying for the government? The attitude was, Let's wait and see. Let's see what's going to happen. And so things did not go as well as we thought. And so we've been on a decline in our nation year after year. And so all of a sudden the Christians woke up to this and said, okay, now we're going to pray. And we're going to start seeking God. I remember just before the last elections, how that many people were praying over this nation. But the saints have got weary in our prayers. We got weary in our prayer life because many have come to me and said, well, we've been praying so hard. We're praying earnestly, but we haven't been seeing the results. Now, there's two things that I'd like to highlight quickly. I remember the one time I was in a meeting with uh, Dr. Isaac Berger. And it was a very interesting thing that happened there. Because while we were in the meeting, um, he was dealing with the Saturday um, of Jesus being in the grave. Jesus was buried on the, on the Friday and Saturday and arose on the Sunday, according to his teaching. But he said Saturday didn't look like anything was happening. But yet everything was happening in hell. But you couldn't see it. And so I want to just say that we've been in a season... Since 94, where it looks like not much is happening. But I want to tell you something is happening. Okay, so I want to deal with the spiritual significance of this. And I want to show you the season that we are in. Because this year is a critical year for believers. It is a critical year for Christians to be praying and keeping up a spiritual umbrella over this nation. So I want us to go to Genesis chapter 15 as a biblical example of what I'm talking about. Genesis 15, 12 to 16. Let me give you the background quickly. God came to Abraham and he saw a vision of the Lord. Okay, and this is where God is busy calling Abraham. Now remember, if you read the scripture now, you'll see it's Abraham and not Abraham. This is before the covenant was made. This is where God's promising him and saying to him, listen, I'm going to make you the father of many nations and, and, and. But I don't want to read the whole thing for time. I want us to go to Genesis chapter 15, verse 12 to 16. And this is what I want to focus on. And now when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham. And behold, horror and great darkness fell upon him. And he said to Abraham, the Lord said to Abraham, Now certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs. They will serve them and they will afflict them 400 years. So God's already saying to Abraham, listen, Israel is going to get caught and taken captive and they're going to be in Egypt for 400 years. And also the nation whom they serve, I will judge. Afterwards, they'll come out with great possessions. All right, that's the story of Egypt. Verse 15. Now as for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a very good old age. So he says, listen, Abraham, you're going to die. You're not going to see this. Okay, but look at verse 16. It says this, but the fourth generation, they shall return you to the promised land. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. 
The iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. Now I need you to understand something. When God judges a nation, when God judges somebody, He always gives you time. There's a grace period. Now, there have been many prophecies given over the leadership of our nation. Individually, as the presidents, corporately as the ruling party, and as the entire nation as a whole. But we have not seen any of those consequences take place. Let me tell you why. The season or the time of the iniquity is not complete. For God to be a righteous judge, He has to give somebody time to either repent or to really mess up. So this brings us to our season that we are in. God has been calling and calling and calling. I know of multiple prophecies that have been warnings from the prophets, not just from anybody, from people who actually hear God's voice, have that authority and anointing. As I want to say this, God is busy with something in South Africa. But a shift and a change is coming because the saints have been praying. Now there's two very significant things that happen in this time. While we wait for that iniquity time to be complete, you as an, in the, an individual have got to prepare for when the shift comes or when the change comes. Are you ready to step in and to reign and rule where you should be? Are you ready to pick up the mantle and say, okay, I'm ready to run? I've got the baton. Are you ready to step up and do what God has called this nation to do? Now, saints, I want to say this. We have got to make that decision this morning. Are we prepared to pray this thing through? Number one, you need to prepare in the time while you wait. Number two, we need to pray, and the more we are praying, the more God's going to move. I do believe the day that the ruling party went against Israel was a day that their days were numbered. The Bible's very clear that you'll pull a curse on yourself and on your families. Now that does not mean the entire nation. Because the, there are many times in the Bible where God dealt with the king and the leaders. And he did not bring it on to the entire nation. Why do I say that? Because the nation has been praying as a whole. The nation has been seeking God. The nation has been supporting Israel. So if you've been doing that, God is going to bring a protection on that. But I do believe that a major shift is coming in our nation. And there's going to be a tumbling of unrighteousness and those that have been practicing iniquity. And so saints, we need to be ready for this season. And so how do I be ready? Number one, God, what have you called me to do? When things start tumbling, I'm not going to moan and complain. I'm going to step up and stake at my role and do whatever I can to assist. And number two, we are going to pray. I want you to be aware that in the month of April, Janine and I and some of the other leaders are going to be moving to every single province in this nation. And we are going to be praying over the province for the elections. We are going to be covering these elections in prayer. I believe with all my heart that God is going to bring a change in this nation. But we have to be ready, saints. And we have to be part of it. I believe that God is going to shift things. And there's going to be a total shift around. But the saints have got to be ready. And we have to be in line. And we have to be praying. So I call every Christian. Get ready. 
I want to call every church. Get ready. Pray. Let's seek God. And when we come to the provinces, I'm asking that you come and join us. Because this is a season where God is going to move by His power. And when the Christians come together, it's not so much just the coming together, but you are representing the area that you've come from. And we are going to create a spiritual umbrella over this nation. And we are going to see the power and the glory of God move. I believe that this is the year for South Africa. This is a year for a radical turnaround. And if the church picks up the responsibility to pray these things through, I believe that we will see some of the most incredible days ahead for South Africa. So saints, I want to encourage you. Prepare, pray, and number three, present yourself. Pray, pray, and present yourself. Come and join us as we stand together united. And we are going to pray the power down into this nation. So saints, I want to encourage you, do not be disheartened. Do not be discouraged. All right? We were just waiting for the fullness of iniquity to come. I truly believe that this is the year that shift and change is coming to our nation. Right? So if you need to contact me, my name is Dr. Arthur Frost. My cell number is 082-659-2224. And if you want to, and you want to be part of um, groups, okay, we've got WhatsApp groups where we send out, and it's not chatting, it's just for us to send to you. And we send you information every single day. And when we get closer to the election, we are going to be doing the prayer stuff every single day. We'll be sending out stuff that you can pray and stand in agreement with. If you want to be part of those groups, you just simply uh, WhatsApp me the word ADD, A-double-D, all right, to 082-659-2224, and I'll add you to one of the groups. I'm going to ask you, please, to share this video as far as possible, as wide as possible, because I believe that this is the season. I believe that this is the day. And I believe that we are now coming into the time of a supernatural move of God in Jesus' name. So from my side, God bless you. Let's stay united and let's stay functioning in Jesus' name. Love you lots and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.